Good morning, guys. Tommy here. I um, want to do a video update for you guys on meme coins. And the big question of the day is, are meme coins dead? What's going on uh, with meme coins? And I'll preface this in saying, you know, the, the, the reason why meme coins interested me, caught my attention, are the same reason that uh, Bitcoin caught my attention in, 20, in 2012. You know, Bitcoin, uh, I'd read in an article, Bitcoin went up 5,000%, you know, over the past year. And it seemed too good to be true, right? And so I faded Bitcoin, uh, you know, and missed, and missed the whole surge in 2013, waiting for my perfect entry while it went up 100 times. <laughs> so... Um, the lesson for me uh, from then is, you know, try not to fade things, like zoom into them and, and see what's going on. Um, so that being said, um, meme coins caught my eye as I've saw some of the fastest growth I've ever seen in crypto here. Some of these meme coins uh, went up hundreds of times in a very short period on the back of a lot of volume and seeing a lot of holders and stuff join in. So, you know, another thing that ties to that experience for me was you know Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu was uh, in 2021. I was uh, staying at a hotel for a lot of uh, you know the early 20 you know early mid 2021, and uh, there was a um, this bellman who kept uh, telling me about Shiba Inu, and he was like a bit of a crypto newbie, so I was kind of like uh, screw Shiba Inu, da da da, you know, or I was fading it, you know. But Shiba Inu was actually one of the best performing assets in in 2021 this chart Let's see this chart works yeah okay you can see so much only so much of the history but it was it was one of the best performing assets in 2021 actually which is crazy and what is shiba inu you guys was there any real fundamental value behind it no it was a meme coin that actually wasn't even original meme coin it's piggybacking off dogecoin which is another meme coin you know but the lesson for me was i learned something then which is a lot of cryptos aren't actually about fundamental value. It's about hype and, uh, you know, and, and, and yeah, a lot of it's marketing. And actually a lot of these coins, you guys, on here, I realized, I've, I've realized along the years, so the 10 years I've done this, a lot of times the market cap isn't a true rep representation of the value underlying the coin. But nonetheless, who here wouldn't have wanted to get into Shiba Inu here? Right. I mean, it was one of the best performing coins in 2021. So that being said, I don't want to uh, be too long about it. But, you know, when meme coins kind of surge back this time, it was a little bit on my in the back of my mind already. And it really came into focus. Now, of course, by the time it came into focus for me was when this move had pretty much already kind of uh, peaked, at least this wave of it. But, you know, that's how things go. That happened to me with uh, Bitcoin and, and other cryptos, too. And uh, one thing I always say too, again, none of this is financial advice, but I always, you know, these are my own thoughts. I always say, you know, uh, I believe never being married to a position. So, you know, when we have this much information, we don't know when the wave's gonna stop. When we have this much information, we can see the wave has dissipated. So um, for me, I'm keeping my eye on this, but the trend has largely dissipated. For me personally, I'm just keeping a small position in Pepe and Bob. Those are the two meme coins I'm interested in. Again, Pepe's uh, kind of the one leading this, that, that led this wave. And Bob is a, a really, like, what I really like about Bob is they use an AI uh, and it's a tweet bot that replies to people all day. And so it's, it's quite cool. It's an effortless form of marketing. And I think that's pretty sweet. So I, who knows, it's, it's, it's a speculative play. It's a small you know, allocation. Let's see, uh, let's see what happens with them. But for the most part, uh, at this point, I, I am uh, just observing to see when the next leg comes. And one thing I want to point out to you guys as well, too, there's 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 sectors in crypto, you guys. Um, and, and crypto goes through waves. And a lot of times, coins within a sector move together, right? You guys saw uh, Decentraland and Sandbox move together when the metaverse, um, you know, the metaverse theme was there. And then NFTs are the same. NFTs, a lot of times, move together. They move in these waves. There's a big NFT wave in 2021 as well. And even within NFTs, there are sectors within NFTs. You have the Q profile picture NFTs that a lot of times move together. So, um, so just keep that in mind. And and uh, a lot of trading uh, is about catching the waves, right? And 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 that's the whole thing. Everything goes through waves, including even Bitcoin and top cryptos. You guys can see again the waves that we go through here, and it's all about catching the waves. So that's essentially I apply the same concepts to meme coins as well. So, you know, long and short of it is, again, it seems like this wave 
is in consolidation. Clearly the wave is quieted down for now. Does that mean, uh, but on that note, we don't know when the next wave starts. It could be, you know, in a couple weeks, it could be in a couple months, it could be in a couple years, we don't know. But um, it's on my radar now, so I'm keeping my eye on meme coins and I will continue to. Um, I've seen the power, the, the potential behind them, uh, you know, numerous times now. So I've got my eye on it. And, uh, and again, it's, uh, these are positions that I, uh, I'm not married to. I'm just, I just want to catch the waves. So, and I'll, I'll mention again to you guys, you know, good traders, by the way, you know, they make six, six or seven uh, shots out of 10, you know, six or seven out of 10. So you, you, you're, not, you're not here to win every trade, um, but your job is to recognize, uh, catch a trend and also recognize when a trend has dissipated. And uh, that's essentially kind of my take on meme coins. So I don't want to make this video too long. Just want to share with you guys my thoughts. Again, for the time, for the time being, it looks like the wave has dissipated. Uh, we don't know when the wave resumes, but I've still got my eye on them. Uh, I've been tracking them on the sheet. And again, Bob and Pepe were the two that uh, really interested me the most, seemed uh, fundamentally the strongest. Um, yeah, and uh, uh, that's it for now. So uh, leave, leave any questions or comments down below. Throw a like if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.